Catholic priest who was accused of molesting them over three decades. John Gagan was released without bail after pleading not guilty to charges that he sexually assaulted two boys in the 1980s and 90s. News Center 5's Janet Wu with this story. The 65-year-old former priest was arraigned on charges of rape and indecent assault on three children under the age of 10. These allegations involve incidents as recently as 1996. These are the cases where the statute of limitations has not run out. But Gagan is accused of molesting more than 100 children during his 30-year career as a priest, some of whom came to court today to face the man, they say, who has given them nightmares for decades. Not guilty. After appearances in Suffolk and Middlesex courts, Gagan's accusers filed silently past him as the former priest stood behind a wall of his friends and relatives. But outside the courtroom a few minutes later, emotions ran high. Mr. Gagan, what do you say to your alleged victims? He's a filthy pig. You are a filthy pig. What sickens me is I saw the same smirk on his face today that I seen as a little kid. And it just brings back bad memories. I've been victimized by him, abused by him. I had to contain myself when I saw him because it all really came back. I got very angry. And uh, hearing his voice, that sent a lot of chills down my spine. I was disappointed to hear him say not guilty. Uh, I guess in, I was hoping that he'd buckle. Others say they're more angry at the Catholic Church. They've known about it for quite a long time, and they could have uh, avoided a lot of pain and anguish for many families in the community. Gagan's attorney made a short statement. None of these charges have yet been sort of tested in the crucible of the courtroom. Both Suffolk and Middlesex district attorneys say there will be no charges filed against the Catholic Church and that the Archdiocese is cooperating with their investigations. If there is no plea bargain, Gagan's trial could take place as early as next year. In Cambridge, Jana Wu, New Center 5. I said he was not guilty, and, but he is. He is guilty. He's guilty of molesting many, uh, many young children. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, destroying the life of a young child and their trust that they had in someone like him uh, is evil and wrong. And you can't do that. You can't do that to young children, and he should have to pay for that. Gagan was released without bail. In addition to today's charges, he faces 77 lawsuits by people who claimed he molested them as far back as the 1960s. Priest stood silent, but outside the courtroom, some of his accusers were making a lot of noise. Here's Laura Claricio. I hope you're happy, you pig. As Father John Gagan walked the corridors of Suffolk Superior Court, an alleged victim yelled out. This morning, the defrocked priest was charged with two counts of rape of a child and indecent assault and battery. Uh, I'm slightly relieved. Ralph Del Vecchio and his cousin Anthony Muzzy say while young boys, Father Gagan molested them. The two have filed civil suits against him, but came to court to see him criminally charged in three other cases. I saw him when I was going into the courtroom for the first time in years, and he just kind of stared at me with, with like daggers. I want to yell and scream and grab him if I could, shake him. The victims in the criminal case did not want to go on camera, but prosecutors say in one case, Father Gagan would go to the boy's house during bedtime. Uh, at which time the priest would, uh, the defendant would pray over the boy, but then fondle his, his penis. Not in the afternoon, Gagan was charged at Middlesex Superior Court for indecent assault and battery on a child. He pled not guilty. As he left the court, Gagan said nothing, which sparked a lot of anger. Right You're a thing. filthy pig! As far as I know, um, these allegations have yet to be uh, tested in the crucible of the courtroom. So I think in the, in the fullness of time, as the procedure goes on, we'll you know, hope that the, the truth emerges. I'm just dealing with a lot of flashbacks and... You know, it's really sickening in there to see him smirk and laugh. He has no remorse. Both judges release Gagan on personal recognizance. He's due back in court next month. In Cambridge, Laura Clarizio for the 10 o'clock news. He is not guilty. John Gagan went to court today where he faced his angry accusers. Fox 25's Mike Baudet was there, and he joins us now with the story. Mike? Curtis, this is the first time the former priest is criminally charged, but there are many more people who say they are victims. Tonight, one man's story, a man who says he's haunted by what happened to him. I hope you're happy, you pig! You filthy pig! Former priest John Gagan is taunted in court today. Don't you burn in hell! Paul Mendez is one of the men shouting. 
He says he was molested by Gagan in the 1970s. Brought me to the pool, knowing the pool was closed. Then he brought me to his house to molest me over and over again. A group of people who say Gagan molested them were on hand today as the former priest went to court twice. First in Boston, then in Cambridge. The 64-year-old is arraigned on charges of raping and molesting three boys in the 1980s and 1990s. And what is your claim? Not guilty. When I heard uh, his voice, it sounded exactly the same way it was when I was a child. You know, he has no remorse. There's no sadness in his voice or anything. I don't know if he gets it. Dozens and dozens of people have come forward saying they were sexually abused by the former priest while he served in parishes around the Boston area. Since then, Gagan was defrocked, removed as a priest, and the Archdiocese of Boston has paid millions, settling lawsuits by his accusers. But these are the first criminal charges against Gagan. As I came out the courtroom, I looked right at him in his face and I said, thanks a lot. And he looked right at me for a couple of minutes. He knew exactly who I was. Gagan was released with conditions, including staying away from children. These people say you victimized them. Hey, he's a filthy pig. You are a filthy pig. None of these charges have yet been sort of tested in the crucible of the courtroom, and I think that for this is the appropriate uh, place uh, to have them tested. Uh, and, you know, we'll answer the charges in due course. And I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I'm hurt that they didn't put him in jail today because that's exactly where he belongs. Like. Mendez says he's been suicidal and is still in therapy. As for Gagan, he returned to his home in situate without saying anything. The case goes back into court in January.